Hi, it's Steve with a minute of pain brought to you by Firestorm Fit Camps and FirestormFitCamps.com. Today's going to be a little bit longer uh, minute of pain program. I'm going to talk to you about the 10 things that people who have success in fat loss do on a regular basis, what they understand, what they know how to do. So let's jump right into it. All right, so number one is people understand that fat loss comes primarily from what you eat. It's not going to be done by an overemphasis on exercise, whether it's weightlifting or cardio or some mixture thereof. It's going to come from what you eat. It's going to come from the quality of your food in the proper quantities. So there's going to have to be some portion control. You're going to have to eat good quality stuff, and you're going to have to portion it out in appropriate sizes that are going to be uh, conducive to an amount of fat loss. That's just all there is to it. Unless you're willing to change your diet, and for some people pretty radically, you're not gonna see any level of appreciable fat loss at all. You're just gonna spin your wheels. So just uh, make up your mind that quality and quantity are gonna be two of your biggest factors. Being hungry is not an emergency. If you're gonna get some successful fat loss, you're gonna to have to get comfortable with the idea of being hungry. It doesn't mean you're gonna be starving, but it doesn't mean you're gonna be satiated all the time. You're gonna to have to be a little hungry sometimes. And probably gonna to have to be a little hungry on a pretty regular basis. Your body is going to have to learn to use energy stores in order to get rid of some body fat. You couple that with a good quality diet, you're gonna see fat loss success. Those are the two biggest things that are gonna help you. Number three is that people are able to focus on the task at hand. When they go to the gym to do the job, they get the job done. When they sit down to a plate of food, they do what is necessary. They're not going to dilly-dally. They're not going to uh, try to do something different to take a different approach. They're not going to um, maybe try to change the, the, the rules of the game right there at the, at the goal line. Get a game plan and they stick with it. They focus on what is there in front of them. They're in the moment. They're in the present moment taking care of business. This is a, a success factor that just you've got to adapt. You've got to adopt. Fat loss is easy once you understand how hard it is. And the people that understand this work harder at it than the people who don't. The people who have success work harder at it because they understand fat loss is easy when you realize how hard it is. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But with some hard work, dedication, and effort, they get the success they want because they work harder at it. They work harder in the gym. They work harder at meal prep. They work harder at recovery. It's going to take those things in order to see some successful fat loss. So you just got to work harder. If you're not the type to work hard, you're just going to frustrate yourself. So maybe now's a good time to, to learn to adopt that work ethic. People who see successful fat loss understand the difference between prioritizing themselves and selfishness. Putting yourself first in this respect is not a selfish thing. You've probably heard the analogy of being on a plane and the flight attendant is giving the rules for flight and explaining that when the little air mask drop down, put yours on first so that you can help others around you. That's prioritizing. It's not a selfish act to make yourself a priority in this respect if it's going to help you help others. Being lean, being fit, being healthy is not a selfish act. It actually helps you be a better worker, a better parent, a better husband, a better wife, a better student, a better uh, everything. Because you're able to do more for others because you have more energy, stamina, you have more endurance, you have the power, the strength necessary, the clarity of mind. So prioritizing yourself is not a selfish act. Your success is gonna come from strategies, not willpower. Your success is gonna come from strategies, a game plan. And it's not sacrifice. A strategy is not sacrifice. If you have a strategy to eat a certain amount of food during the day, that's a strategy. If you have a kind of wing ding and think you're gonna to have to sacrifice a lot of this and that, and you're not gonna be able to eat uh, the quality that, or the lack of quality, or what are the stuff that you'd like to eat ever again, and you can stop that, I and mean, that's not true but you gotta have a strategy. If you don't have a strategy, 
your mind is going to be focused on sacrifice. And with that sacrifice is going to come frustration, is going to come a lack of uh, strength, fortitude, energy, dependability. You're going to lose focus. So get a strategy. Don't depend on uh, willpower, that kind of thing. People who have successful fat loss are on time. They're on time for their training sessions, they're on time for their meals, they're on time for their sleep patterns, they're on time. They make time a priority. They've learned how to manage time. If you don't know how to be on time, then that's something that you're going to have to focus on because if you want to see success, you've got to manage your time. You've got to be on time all the time. One of the greatest things that you can do is to be consistent. Inconsistency is the killer. Inconsistency is uh, akin to um, procrastination. Procrastination is the, the silent assassin of success. You've got to be consistent. If you want to see success, you've got to be consistent in what you do. Just because something is easy to do also means that it's easy not to do. So be consistent in your efforts. Be consistent in your uh, training in your focus, be consistent in your training, be consistent in your efforts, be consistent in your resolve. If you're just consistent 99, 95% of the time, you're going to do very, very well because that lack of consistency is going to snowball. It's going to lead to inconsistency. So don't let that happen to you. People who see success have a definitive goal. They know what they're after. They have a definitive goal based in reality. For example, if someone has a body, say, like a Nicole Kidman, tall, lean, slender by nature, but they want to have a uh, desire to look like, I don't know, somebody who's more muscular, who has a more uh, athletic type frame, they're probably going to be frustrated because that's not a goal based in reality. You have to deal with what God gave you. If you didn't pick your parents right, there's not much you can do about it. So you're just going to have to accept the reality that you're made differently. You're going to have to work differently. You're going to have to train differently. You're going to have to eat differently and pick a better goal. You have to pick a goal that suits your body style, your body frame. Um, you know, trying to decide that you want to be a Olympic medal high jumper at 45, 50 years of age is not a good goal. So pick a goal based in reality a goal that you can accomplish, a goal that you're willing to strive for. If it's not something that you are really going to place great emphasis on and strive for, then again, you're just going to spin your wheels and get frustrated and you're not going to see the success you want. One of the biggest issues I deal with in terms of people struggling to drop body fat is their lack of ability or capability to manage their stress levels. People who don't manage stress well don't do well in dropping body fat. Stress increases what's known as your cortisol level, and cortisol is effectively just going to shunt your fat loss capabilities. So you got to handle stress. If you're one of those that uh, manufactures stress, if you perceive things as being stressful, if you talk about being stressed, uh, if you imagine things as being stressful, you're under stress, you're going you're gonna to feel it, you're going to react as such. You've got to handle it. You've got to find some coping skills. You've got to find some way to manage your stress. You've got to recover. Your best recovery tool is sleep. If you're not sleeping well, you're not dropping body fat. If you're under stress, you're not dropping body fat. So whatever you do, figure it out. You've got to drop the body fat by handling your stress and you've got to get some sleep in order to do that. That's just the way it is. The last thing is people who see great success in fat loss, change flat tires. What do I mean by that? It means you're going to have days where things are going to happen. You're going to screw up. For example, if you're driving to work Monday morning and your car has a flat, what do you do? Get out, get the spare out, change the tire, get back on the road, or do you throw a stick of dynamite down the gas tank, blow the car up, go the rest of the week without a car, buy a new car on the weekend, start all over on Monday? No. You change a flat tire. Same thing with your diet. If you blow it, oh well, you got another meal coming around in a little while. You get back on track. You change the flat tire, you get back on track. Having that resolve, having that goal, being consistent, looking down the road, putting yourself as a priority, managing your time, all these things are important and they're very vital to your success if your success is fat loss. If you want to do it, I can help. I'm happy to help. That's what we do here at Firestorm Fit Camps. It's very simple. Call me, email me, text me, get a hold of me. 
Come in and let's uh, let's train together. Now you think about that.